widely known as China's North Pole. The city of Moha, the furthest north in the country, has experienced its coldest day ever. Minus 53 degrees Celsius or minus 63.4 degrees Fahrenheit on Sunday, coming just months after China saw its worst heat wave in more than 50 years. With climate change, we certainly expect that the extremes are going to be somewhat worse than they were before. And this applies especially to the temperatures and the precipitation. Extreme cold is having a deadly impact in Afghanistan, exacerbated by limited humanitarian aid being distributed after the ruling Taliban banned female aid workers from operating in the country. At least 157 people have lost their lives so far, according to a Taliban official, the death toll doubling in just the last week. Around 70,000 livestock have frozen to death. This is an extreme situation at the moment that we're facing with sub-zero temperatures in many of our areas of operations and families that are already have been pushed to the brink uh, for survival due to the economic crisis are even in more dire straits. A wave of extreme cold has spread through Northeast Asia, sub-zero temperatures moving in from Siberia, stranding thousands of travelers at airports in parts of South Korea and Japan for the end of the Lunar New Year holiday. Heavy snow is continuing to disrupt flights in Japan, with hundreds being cancelled Tuesday and Wednesday. Videos posted on social media show treacherous conditions. One focus for experts is the widening gap between seasons. If the difference between the highest and lowest temperatures during a year used to be about 40 degrees Celsius, the difference can be 60 degrees these days. The cold weather means the extreme points will be very dramatic. One climate change expert says looking wider than the extreme cold in Northeast Asia paints a very interesting pattern. The distinctive thing, if you look at it on a hemispheric basis, is that it's extraordinarily warm in the North Pacific up into southern Alaska, and it's extraordinarily warm in the North Atlantic, all the way up through Norway and Sweden and Iceland and, and even further north. Extreme cold in Northeast Asia, at least, is expected to ease in coming days. Paula Hancock's CNN Seoul.